recently that came out is called The Help. And <laughs> thank you, oh my goodness. Um, so I want you guys really quickly to think to yourselves five adjectives that you think describe who you really are. And don't worry, I'm not going to ask you what they are. No one's going to ask you. This is just for you. I'm going to get back to that. So uh, I first started acting when I was nine years old. I was in a theater production of The Sound of Music. <laughs> and um, there's a song in that play that really got stuck with me. It's called Climb Every Mountain. And I'm going to read you some of the lyrics. I know that it sounds really cheesy without the music behind it. So just bear with me because these lyrics are beautiful. Climb every mountain, search high and low, follow every byway, every path you know. Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow until you find your dream. A dream that will need all the love you can give every day of your life for as long as you live. So I want to focus on the last part of that song because I think that in life you need more than hard work or luck to achieve what you want to achieve. You really need all the love you can give. And I'm not talking about the love of your parents or your siblings or your friends, although that's important too. But I'm really talking about the love of yourself. And um, that, that's, that's what I want to talk about because that love of yourself is what is going to get you through anything. So I, um, when I first started acting in Los Angeles, I was in all these these acting classes, and one thing I would hear time and time again was, you need confidence, you have to go into these rooms with confidence, that's how you're going to get a job, confidence, it was all about confidence, and I felt so lost, and I thought, how the heck do I get this confidence, where do I get it, who can give it to me, where do I learn it, I had no idea, and I felt, um, I was always comparing myself to my friends that I felt were doing better, and I was getting jobs here and there, but nothing was really clicking for me. And I knew that I had to turn that around. I really wanted to be proud and confident no matter what jobs I was or wasn't getting. And so I found teachers and mentors and um, I started to do a lot of self-work and digging deep into who I really was and trying to figure out what was underneath everything I was doing and what was driving me. So did you think of some words about yourself? Because I'm gonna share my words that I came up with with you. I am kind. I am creative, I am passionate, I am loving, and I am hardworking. And I want you to really hear me when I say that if one of your words was kindness, there is no greater gift than to be a kind person. You might, it's so easy to take that for granted, but if you are kind, you have to treasure that and honor that and be proud of it because you are so lucky to be kind if you are kind. And um, so I started to, to do this little challenge with myself before auditions. I would, instead of obsessing over my lines and what I, what I was going to say and the choices I'd made, I decided I was going to review these words that I'd come up with before my auditions. And it can feel so silly and stupid, I know, to say these things to yourself. But it had a really profound effect on me and my work. And a little less than a year later, I had my audition for the help. And isn't it synchronistic and funny that I was going to audition for this story in which this lead character says to this little girl, you was kind, you was smart, you was important. And then there, that's what I was doing. So before my audition, I said my words, and then I got the job. And then when I was on my first day of work and I was surrounded by these huge stars, Emma Stone and Viola Davis and Alice and Janney, and the list goes on and on, and the studio had flown in from LA and everyone's watching you and I was convinced I would be fired. I was so sure that I was gonna fail and not do a good job. And I had to really pull myself together and say, am I going to go to work every day on this amazing project with this fear and self-doubt and anxiety? Or am I gonna go to work every day and bring my creativity and my passion and my kindness and I really made that choice. And you know what? I had the most amazing experience of my life. And I learned so much from these women that became good friends. These Academy Award nominees and award winners, guess what I learned? They all had their own version of what I was experiencing. They all had self-doubt and fear. And it exists at every single level. And so I urge you, I challenge you, to come up with your words and get very specific about why you are wonderful, because we all are. 
And you need to come up with that, with that golden thread that makes you a singular event in the entire history of the universe. Those words are your golden thread. And this work on you is, I think, harder and more important than any work you're going to do in the classroom. It's going to be harder than your soccer practice or your math homework because you don't get a break from you. You have to find that love every day, every night. You need to cultivate it. You need to daydream about it. You need to write it down, think about it, pray and meditate and reflect upon it. This is so important. I had to teach me to be me, and you have to teach you to be you sometimes. And then no matter what job you do or don't get, or no matter what college you do or don't get into, you will start to have this foundation of who you are. You take small steps and then bigger steps and little risks and then bigger risks. And that fear and self-doubt, I promise you, will never go away. And for me, this has just been a way to navigate that, that temptation of fear and insecurity that will always be there. And I promise you, if you start to devote time and energy to this truth-telling muscle about yourself, this self-love, you will have access to literally the most powerful tool you could ever possibly have, and that is you. You being unapologetically you. And I have to say, too, it is so important to surround yourself with people that inspire you, people that want to celebrate you as much as you do. That is so important. And so I want to remind you of these words, these lyrics, one more time. A dream that will need all the love you can give every day of your life for as long as you live. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>